Hi, this is Dr. Kip Wingo. This is Dallas Edwards, my, my, one of my star technicians, and this is Snap. Snap is a three-year-old corgi, a neutered corgi, neutered male. It presents today for tea cleaning. And we wanted to show you guys what happens in a tea cleaning. So Snap just got here a while ago, and we're going to go through the progression of everything we do because we want you guys to understand what we do it's pretty darn safe. It's a good thing. All right, so the first thing that's happening in SNAP is a physical exam. And it is my custom when I do a physical exam to start here and work my way back. Every critter induced in anesthesia in this hospital gets this physical exam every time. All right, SNAP. Hi. Good morning. How you doing, young man? And he's telling me he rather would not be here, but his eyes look great. No abnormalities there. I don't see any nasal discharge. I'm going to look in this young man's ears. And this ear is, oh, sorry, sorry, it's very clean. And this ear is also very clean. All right, big guy. We're going to look in your mouth, and we can see that he does indeed need a teeth cleaning. His mama's been negligent and taking care of his teeth. Um, we can see the redness there above this premolar and the tartar buildup. He's got a really nice bite. I don't see any chipped teeth. But, you know, it's absolutely impossible to assess a dog or a cat's teeth unless they're under general anesthesia. And you can't adequately clean them unless they're under general anesthesia. This tartar that we see here is, is, is just unsightly. The tartar that causes periodontal disease and tooth loss is, is the tartar right under the gum line. And see, right on this premolar here, you can see the little red right above that. That's because the tartar is under the gum line and it's causing inflammation. As time goes, that inflammation just keeps going north in the tooth, we end up losing the tooth. And, and dogs with, with dentistry, they have 42 teeth and we want them to keep them all. However, there are eight teeth we will go through heroics to take. And that are the four canine teeth, that big one there, and this big one here. And the what we call the shearing teeth, this big premolar on top. And if I can get him to open that big one right there too. Okay, to continue on with our physical exam, let's scoot him up a little bit, Miss Dallas. We're going to open up in here and look. Looks okay there. We'll feel his lymph nodes under his ears, lymph nodes in his chest, uh, in his shoulders. We'll palpate his throat very good to see if anything's irritated there. If he coughs, he does not. We'll manipulate his neck from side to side and up and down to see if there's pain anywhere in his neck. We'll check his hands, starting with his thumbs. There's digit two, three, four, and five in between his fingers. And look at his pads, his hand bones, extend and flex, radius and ulna, his shoulder and elbow are awesome and check his shoulder blade. All right, big man, back to your thumbs. Did it two, three, four, and five in between his fingers. Pads look good, hand bones feel good. This is his wrist, it's not swollen. It doesn't hurt when I extend it or flex it. His radius and ulna feel good. His shoulder and elbow do not hurt when I extend them. I check that lymph node in his armpit and his shoulder blade. Now we're gonna spin him around. The first thing I'm gonna do now is assess his body condition, which is of vital importance. Um, the scale that most veterinarians use, that we use also, is from one to nine. One is starving to death, nine is very heavy, five, body condition score five is good, four is better, it's race horse lean. Snap is four. His body, body weight is perfect, so therefore we say his target weight is what his current weight is. So we're going to palpate along his body, checking for lumps and bumps and painful areas. We don't find any. We're going to rub his belly, checking for lumps and bumps. Check for a hernia in his belly button, one in his groin, and I'm going to palpate inside his belly. Palpate means to feel. You'll be surprised at what we can feel in a puppy dog's belly on occasion. His feels wonderful, nothing's painful, obviously. No lumps or bumps there, and I'm going to move to his knees. Kneecaps are in place, knees are not swollen. Two lymph nodes, right one right here, one right there behind his knees. We're going to palpate. There's his ankle and foot, and I'm going to stress his ankle. Stress his knee, extend his hip, and then abduct his hip joint to check for pain to see if he hurts. He does not. I'm going to repeat that in this leg, ankle, knee, hip. Got to do the booty check. Booty looks fine. Check him out over there. Then we'll ask Mr. Dallas, do you see anything I've missed, Mr. Dallas? Yes, sir. All right. We're going to listen to this guy's heart. His heart is beating wonderful. His rhythm is normal. There are no murmurs. With this hand, I'm getting his pulse in his hind leg. It's nice and strong. His lungs are clear. This side is normal also. We've also 
pulled blood samples from SNAP and we've analyzed his blood here in our hospital. We know that his kidneys and his liver are functioning properly, that his sugar levels are good and that he is not anemic and his white count is not elevated. So this guy is ready to rock and roll. So the next things that will happen is my technician, Chiquita, Chiquita Lyons and Miss Dallas will put a catheter in SNAP. Thank you.